MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball brings us to the great state of Florida and Marlins Park in Miami. The Midsummer Classic between the American League All-Stars and the National League All-Stars. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special coverage of the Major League Baseball All-Star Game here on the show. I'll be joined in the booth by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, but before we turn to them, let's turn to the results of the fan voting for this year's All-Star Starters, as close to 400 million votes were cast online to come up with the gentleman you see right here. Final preparations being made down on the field. We've got a fun night in store. It's the Major League All-Star Game on the show. And it comes your way next. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, the National League All-Star. Briefly now, we'll look at the two men named by their managers to get the ball here to begin this All-Star game. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. Steve, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, definitely be aggressive at the plate. You've got to come through with clutch two-out hits. And don't leave runners in scoring position. That's the key. Max Scherzer, the Missouri-born right-hander, gets the job of starting pitcher here. E.K., what do you got? Remember, guys, this is someone that will come at you with four different pitches. He'll change velocity. He'll go up and down. The break on the pitches makes it a real challenge for a hitter. Now that we have a chance, let's take a look here at how the National League will align themselves defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. Any thoughts, Eric? Well, Matty, Anthony Rizzo is really the centerpiece for this Cubs ball club. Offensively, we know what he does. But defensively, he really holds this infield together. Very fluid over at first base. Good soft hands. And has a good throwing arm as well. Michael Brantley strides forward, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Underway this evening as the first pitch is taken for strike one as we get started right on time at 7.05 p.m. First pitch, 7.05. takes a pitch high and away for ball one can't ask for better conditions 83 degrees here at first pitch tonight Scherzer looks in here's the one one and that misses two and one pretty clear the plan is to keep everything away and that's smart for most guys but You've got to know your scouting report because this is a guy that can cover the outside part of the plate. And a strike. Threw him a breaking ball that time. Two and two. Well, you figure that curveball is going to be an important pitch for him going forward. Yeah, I think it might even tell the story of how well he fares here tonight because he's going to need to mix his speeds against a lineup like this. And once they start sitting on pitches, it could be trouble. Three and two now. Jose Altuve waits on deck. Oh, 
Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Good battle continues as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count remains three and two. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. Who's the one to watch, EK? Well, I think you better look out for that cleanup hitter. He's coming off a multi home run game, and he'll try and build off that momentum. We'll see if they try to approach him any differently throughout this game. Coming to the plate now, Jose Altuve, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one well you saw it right there he's got a good fastball but it's not overpowering by any means so it's all about location and then mixing pitch speeds for him here's a fastball at the knees good spot good pitch and it's 0 and 2 right back same pitch also knee high he wasn't buying that one either he's gonna have to do something now he's down two strikes Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Pretty good discipline right there with two strikes. That's a tough sweeping slider. Difficult to lay off, but he did it. Just starting things out here in South Florida. Hit in the air out to center field. Blackman is under it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. With a moment now, let's take a look here at how the National League will align themselves defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. EK, what do you got? Well, Matty, out in that corner outfield spot, a very reliable left fielder. Not somebody that's going to make the great plays, but every routine ball, it's as good as gold. First pitch of the at-bat. Hit out towards second. And that's through for a hit. Yeah, he was hoping for a quick 1-2-3 to start the, the night. Now he's going to have a little work to do with a runner on and a dangerous cleanup hitter Dickerson. coming up. Corey Dickerson will get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. That two out single seemed harmless enough, but anytime you extend the inning to allow this guy to get a shot with a runner on, you better be careful. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Yeah, guys, he's a very solid umpire. Well respected for the strike zone he calls and the consistency he brings to the job. And he pops it up back behind second base. Seeger is there for it. And that ends the inning. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. It's the American League nothing. National Leaguers coming to bat. It's the Major League Baseball All-Star Game exclusively on the show. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team's starting lineup. Eric, who should we keep an eye on? Well, I'll be keeping an eye on what that leadoff hitter can do in this one. He's a catalyst for this offense when his bat is hot. Just needs to keep having good at-bats. And with a quick breather here, let's take a look here at the lineup defensively for the American League. It's brought to us by Majestic. EK, what's the word? Yeah, Matty, we all know the Todd father from the home run hitting contest. The guy has as much power as anybody in the game, but he's also a gold glove throw. Still a, a great third baseman with 
ability to make some outlandish Leading diving stops. Plays one of the most difficult Rank positions Haley. as well as Shayshan. anybody in the game. Hayward. Quick reflexes, ice cold veins, and support. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. And on 2-0, and this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but I would maybe think about something else. 3-0 and oh now. Now that he's worked it to 3-0, and oh, he's got a couple of free pitches here to pick out one he really likes. Shot toward second. And they'll start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through. So far, so good. They get a scoreless top of the first and now a leadoff single to start things in their half. Starling Marte. Into the box now, Starling Marte. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Throw over to the bag, and he just manages to get his hand in. First pitch on its way. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Ellsbury going back, still ranging back. So a two-run shot to left center as the National League moves out in front here, two to nothing. This is the chance you take when you work up in the zone like this. I mean, this is right in his happy zone, and he jumps all over it and sends it right over the wall. Here's Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. As he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Yeah, he hit a good pitch there. This thing's toward the outside part of the plate, but he stays with it all the way. Uses the big part of the field and gets himself a base hit. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. As he's first pitch swinging here, and this is on the ground toward the hole. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. Boy, you hate to even consider getting the bullpen going here in the first inning, but we may see some stirring down there pretty soon now. That's four straight hits to start things off here in the first inning. Corey Seeger stands in with another first inning RBI opportunity in store. Yeah, and this has been an impressive first inning for these guys, and you know they'd love to tack one on here. From the stretch. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Ellsbury ranging back, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. The runner from second crosses the plate. And not in time as the second run scores. Nolan Arenado will stand in with four runs home in the inning already and still nothing in the outcome. Yeah, I don't know quite where you go from here. You need something to break your way or else this is going to be over early. Right-hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Into the seats, 0-1. Line towards center field. 
Ellsbury is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Now a 5-0 lead. From the Charlie Blackman Rockies. steps in. Center He'll get his first shot at it here. Blackman. Sent on the ground out to second. There is Altuve. Throw on to first. Two gone. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. What's this club need to focus on here this evening, Steve? Well, you're going to get a heavy dose of those sinking fastballs, so you've got to look for the ball to get up in the zone. If you swing at anything down, you're going to be rolling over pitches, and it's hard to get a rally started if you're hitting into double plays all day. D.J. LeMayhew is set for his first opportunity now as he'll become the eighth man to bat here in the first with five runs already in. You know, Matt, you go up there and you put up a five spot in the first inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good. But don't get complacent. We're still early in this game. This thing's just getting started. Boy, he has really taken a pounding out there. From the Miami That's six Marlins. hits now he's given up in Patrick. just this inning alone. And it's beyond time for a change. You've got to get him out of there. JT Real Muto set to take his first cuts with a man at first and two away. Yeah, and he's going to have to find a gap to give that man on first a chance to score. And Hernandez will go to first. Yeah, and he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake that time as he's picked off to end the inning. So a very good outburst here as five runs come across and allow them to take the lead. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. It's the National League five and the American League nothing. Eric Hosmer makes his way to the plate. He'll get us started here in the top of the second. Well, you know, they've fallen behind by quite a bit in the early going here, so they need a good inning here to get them back in the game. A couple of lefties start to get loose now in the bullpen. Scherzer into the windup. First pitch on its way. Starts him out with the slider for a strike. Now you have to figure he's going to be pretty relaxed out there on the mound. His guys struck for five runs in the first, and you know that's music to any starting pitcher's ears. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Yeah, that's in a great spot, too. Just hard, late movement working down and in. Oh, and he's caught looking at a beautiful curveball there as that buckled him for the first out of the inning. Well, anytime you're leading off an inning, it's true. You don't want to just go up there blindly swinging at anything close to the zone. But you also want to at least take the bat off your shoulder. I mean, he phoned this one in. Here's Todd Frazier now. As Scherzer's able to move ahead of him with strike one. Well, he's gotten away here early with leaving some of these pitches out over the middle of the plate, especially to start some of these at-bats. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Do you even bother with anything else here? No, I sure wouldn't. As a hitter, you're thinking, look for fastball, adjust for an off-speed pitch. And so far in this at-bat, he hasn't made any adjustments. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Ah, uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Man, not wasting any pitches so far in this inning. Do you see the great curveball the there on show track? He struck out the first two batters on just six pitches. Into the box, Stephen Sung. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Boy, he may strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. Grounded to short. 
throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One, two, three go the American League. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. JT Real Muto strides into the box now to lead off the home half of the second inning. Well, guys, they jumped out to that big lead early on in this game, but you really can't get comfortable. You have to keep putting pressure on. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing and one. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. He's fallen behind now, three and one. You can bet he's a little rattled still from that first inning. He gave up a lot of solid contact that first time through the lineup. And the count will be full. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Oh, not fooled one bit by the changeup as he smokes this one to deep left field. That one will not be coming back a home run. So a solo shot down the line in left as they pile on. It's now six to nothing. About the only silver lining to this one from a defensive point of view is it came with the bases empty leading off an inning. You can survive it when this guy is hitting solo shots, but if he's doing this with two or three men on base, then things can really get out of hand in a hurry. Here comes Ned Yost up out of the dugout and on his way to the mound, and his arrival is going to mark the end of the evening now for Felix Hernandez. So a less than stellar performance here tonight as he makes the early exit and forces that bullpen into action much earlier than anticipated. Luke Hochaver will come on now to try and sort this mess out as he'll likely be asked to go at least a few innings here. Here's Jason Hayward now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. High strike there, and it's one and one. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four seam it every once in a while, and when he does, you can forget it. Line drive to center field. Ellsbury is right there, one down. And with that, let's take a look here at the lineup defensively for the American League. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, Matty, we've got the big man behind the plate, Salvador Perez. We all know what he means to this game, how he impacts it defensively, gives you a little pop on the offensive side, but most importantly, a clubhouse leader. Can't wait to watch him in this one. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. High and deep to straightaway right. Dickerson going back at the track. Out of here. She was a wall scraper, but it counts just the same. A home run. It's a solo shot off the bat of Starling Marte. His second home run of the game as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Well, it seems to me like we've seen this before. His second home run of the ball game, 
And it would seem to me that he hit that one harder than he did the last one. So he's definitely locked in. Now batting. Here's Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And Gonzalez lays off as he goes to 2-1 and one now. The ball flying around the yard in this one as you see so far there. Two one pitch is a cut fastball taken for strike two. One out, nobody on. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Waiting next is Anthony Rizzo. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. So it's ball four. Hey, you know what? That's all right. He gave him a pretty good battle up there, and he never gave in to him. A walk you can work around. A home run, you can't. Anthony Rizzo strides in after getting a base hit and later scoring the first time around. Lifted into the air out towards center field. After it is Ellsbury. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. That ball was hit well, and it might have been a different story if he pulled it. Instead, he hit it to the big part of the ballpark, and he's retired. Corey Seeger will try to pick up where he left off. He doubled home a couple this first time around. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today, and let's see if they can keep it going. First pitch coming, here it is. And there's the good fastball from Ho Chaver as he gets ahead 0-1. Now a ball hits sharply toward third, and that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll barrel right through the stop sign, headed for the plate. The tag from Perez, he's out at the plate. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. The NL's on top, seven to nothing. Salvador Perez will lead things off here with his guys down seven in the early going. Steve Lyons, how do you come back from a deficit like that? Well, I think slowly. I mean, yeah, ideally a 10-run inning would be great, but you've got time on your side. You don't need to try to get it all back at once. Just pack away. A couple runs here, a couple runs there. Get yourself into slam range. That's four runs down. Madison Bumgarner is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Number 40, Madison Bumgarner. Fly ball out toward left center field. Blackman on the move. Makes the play one away. Well, that's pretty nice. You come into a ball game, you throw one slider, and you get yourself an out. Now, that'll help center you settle Gilbert. right into the game. Jacoby Ellsbury. So one gone in the inning now for Jacoby Ellsbury. Bumgarner has his target. Here's the first pitch. Ball and one. that misses for ball one. Counts one and oh. Nice 
breaking balls in there that time one and one and against a guy like this you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat sometimes you might not even get that so that's one he may want back. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. Ellsbury rounds it at first, heading for second now. And he'll pull in there with a one-out double. Boy, this is very close to being a foul ball, but a nice job by the first base umpire getting down there and getting the call right. And this is going to get down toward the corner and wind up a hard-hit double. Here's Michael Brantley. And he'll pop this one fouled off to the left, and it's strike one. Runner at second here with one man out. Oh, and he breaks out the hook here. Good for strike two. One thing you've got to be aware of as a hitter is he's going to give you a bit of a variety up there. He's got five pitches, and he's going to use all of them. The 0-2 pitch. And a classic 0-2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's 1-2 and two now. Well, that's a pitch right there that you've got to lay off. You know he's going to throw it on an 0-2, and that's a good job of pitch recognition right there. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. We'll check out that one-two pitch again in show motion. This pitch is up around the letters, and you'll see that back elbow drop down a bit and kind of drag through the zone. That's what causes him to pop it up. Stepping into the box, Jose Altuve. He flew out in his last at-bat. And that's just not really his game. Anytime he keeps it on the ground, he's got a pretty good chance of beating out a hit. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball. Too low, 1-0. Oh. No one 0 oh is a curveball that's over for strike one. Oh, man, he must have been looking for something else. That was a curveball that had hit me written all over it. And he couldn't pull the trigger. Tap foul at home plate. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate. And he'll have another shot at it here. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. Back with more of this Midsummer Classic right after this. Your Matt Shoemaker will come on now, now to try and sort American this League. mess out as he'll likely Number be 52. asked to go at least a few Matt innings here. Shoemaker. Nolan Arenado stands in for the second time. Hit it hard, but lined out in his Nolan first at bat. Arenado. Yeah, he put a good swing on it last time, so we'll see if he can make one fall here.
this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Yeah, a little surprising he didn't offer it that one. That was a dangerous spot for a good fastball hitter. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Hard hit at third. Frazier's up with it. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. The center fielder, number 19, Charlie Lachman. Charlie Blackman stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Line toward right center. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. There's a guy that's locked in at the plate. Second Even down 0-2, there's no panic Roman in his approach. Hughes. When you have that positive mindset at the plate, good things are going to happen. DJ LeMayhew will dig in. He singled his first time around. Throw over to first, and he's back easily. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball one. The early hit total, about what you'd expect in a score line such as this. Ready with the 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. This is a guy whose numbers are on the rise, and this is a big reason why. Two close pitches, two good takes, and now he's in a great hitter's count, 2-0. Oh. There he goes. 2-1 and one after the foul ball there. Set and the 2 1 pitch. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Altuve for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. Nothing doing there for the National League, but they're still in control, seven to nothing. Carlos Correa is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Well, they still aren't even on the board yet, so this leadoff guy needs to get on so they can manufacture a run. Bumgarner has his sign. Here's the first pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Marte going back. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. The right yeah, and this ball was hit 10. pretty well, but it was always going to stay in the ballpark. Dickerson. And you see the left fielder just drift back and make the play on the warning track. In now, Corey Dickerson. As he swings and hits a line drive out to left. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Oh, 
And this ball center cut right here. Got it right on the barrel. He just drills it into left field for a one out single. Digging in to try it again. Eric Hosmer. He got called out on strikes his last time through. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time. And there are two away. Well, this curveball, it just disappears. He thinks he's right on it at the plate. And look where it winds up. Completely out of the zone. And that's what you want as a pitcher. You want hitters to chase pitches that aren't strikes. Here's Todd Frazier now. As Bumgarner gets ahead of him with strike one. Ah, that's just a great spot for the fastball against a hitter like this. Just off the plate enough to make him offer, but not good enough that he can do anything with it. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Hit hard on the ground a second. Gloved by LeMahieu. Here's a flip to Seeger covering, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the National League seven and the American League nothing. Phil Hughes will come on now to try and sort this mess out as he'll likely be asked to go at least a few innings here. Phil Hughes. JT Real Muto stands in again. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first plate appearance. Well, he hit a two-strike changeup, so let's see if they attack him a little bit differently if they get him to two strikes again. Jonathan Lucroy will come on as a pinch hitter. Number 20, Jonathan Lucroy. Hard liner towards short, and that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench as he's aboard to kick off their half of the inning. Man, these guys have been aggressive here early in the count. Some people think, oh, you might want to take a pitch to start in that bat. And sometimes that's great, and it works out for a lot of people. But what you should be thinking is, I got to swing at strikes, and I got to get my pitch. And if it happens to come on the first pitch, let it rip. Here's Jason Hayward now. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. One away. And you know, guys, if this bat doesn't break, maybe this turns into a double play ball. But with the bat shattering here, just too much going on to even think about, too. So he'll take that sure out at first instead. Here's Starling Marte. Hot shot on the ground is short. Correa from the outfield grass. 
throw in time at first for route number two. Well, that's a nice job right there to readjust to that curveball. I don't know if he was sitting on it or what, but he hitter. certainly hit it hard. Arlo. Unfortunately for him, Gonzalez. right at someone. Carlos Gonzalez stands in. Jose Reyes will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. Hit hard toward the right side. And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. It's eight to nothing. And now that's already eight runs they've pushed across the plate first here in the first few innings. And I don't know what's gotten into these guys, but they've definitely had the bats working so far. Anthony Rizzo will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. And you know, I think he's had a good approach in each of his first two at-bats. He seems to be seeing the ball well and putting some decent swings on it. Paul Goldschmidt will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Reyes rounds third. He's headed for home. And the run is in to score from second. Make it 9 nothing. That's a good approach right there with two away. He's just going to shorten up the stroke and take it right back up the middle. That'll be good enough to get the job done and pick up the two-out RBI. And now we'll take a moment here at home plate as he asks for time. Here's Corey Seager. Slapped hard the opposite way. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits. No errors and a runner left on. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the National League nine. And the American League nothing. Jonathan Lucroy will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Now catching... Number 20, Jonathan Lucroy. Paul Goldschmidt will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Stephen Sung heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. Boy, they've got some work to do here, but there's still a lot of time left in this game. So just chip away, chip away. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Clayton Kershaw will come in and pitch now. now. For the National League, number 22, Clayton Kershaw. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Yeah, I don't think that pitch wound up where he wanted it to, but it did the trick.
And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. And that changeup's not really a pitch you can sit on with two strikes. Because if he gives you that fastball, you'll be an hour late on it. That's a great job of not showing that pitch until he was ready to punch him out. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Kershaw into the windup. Here's the one and one. Uh, he ties him up with a fastball inside. One and two. Doing a good job right there of tying him up inside. Got in on his hands that time before he could get that barrel through the zone. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. Here's the one and two delivery. Chop foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. The one and two pitch. Bounce towards the second baseman. LeMahieu scoops it up. Throw on to first will take care of him. And Kershaw is in control now. Two away. Center fielder. Jacoby Ellsbury. Digging in for his second at bat, Jacoby Ellsbury. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit up in the zone, and he didn't miss it. He'll be looking for it again right here. Big slow breaking ball that drops in for a strike to start him out. It's nothing and one. That's such a good pitch to get ahead. Lefty on lefty. It's a big looping curveball. Makes it very difficult for the hitter to try and time what's coming next. And a swing and a miss there by Ellsbury as he's down nothing and two now. And now with the 0-2 count, he's got probably five different pitches he can throw here. So as a hitter, what are you going to do? And with a big pitch here, he'll step off and rethink things. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Chop foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. Hot shot towards the hole. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. Well, good work that time at the plate. You'll see he hangs in there on that slider. That's not easy to do on a tough left-handed pitcher. He manages to square it up, and he gets himself a solid single. Here's Michael Brantley. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. No runs, four hits. No errors thus far for the American League. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Calling for it, Blackman. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. American League strands one. They're down nine to nothing. Marcus Stroman will come on now to try and sort this mess out as he'll likely be asked to go at least a few innings here. Stroman. Nolan Arenado will step in. He's lined out and grounded out in two trips. He seems to be seeing the ball okay, though, making some decent contact so far.
Matt Carpenter will come on now as the pinch hitter. Number 13, Matt Carpenter. Hit high and deep to right center. Ellsbury racing back, still going back. Gone! Solo shot to right center as this lead got even wider. How's this for a welcome to the ball game? One pitch and see you later. Well, I've got a feeling that's not what the manager had in mind. AJ Pollock will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Number 11. A.J. Pollard. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Hey. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Hit hard towards center. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. With some guys, it doesn't matter if it's 0 and 2 or 2 and 0. They take the same approach either way. Well, this right here is one of those guys, and he comes through from being down in the count. Step off, and there he goes towards second. The tag put down by Altuve, and he is out at second base. And that's a situation where a guy just gets a little too antsy out there. So once they step off, he's left with nowhere to go. First offering on its way. And here's a ball hit in the air. Sung has room in foul territory. Two down. The catcher. Well, here's that 20. swing again. This Jonathan is in show motion. And oh, you'll see that that's a few inches above the thumbs. You'll be feeling that one all night long. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Nope. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. A lot of late movement on that fastball. That nearly came back to the outer edge. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And that's in there. Base hit. The right fielder number 22, Jason Hayward. Jason Hayward strides in, grounded out his last time through. Yasiel Puig will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Yasiel 
Line toward the gap in left center. A screaming base hit here, his first of the night. The relay, and he's safe. Well, these guys have been very aggressive on the fastball so far, and this is another example of it right here. You know, working the count is great and all, but if the guy's going to lay a fastball in there on the first pitch, no reason not to go after it, and he jumps all over this one. Here's Starling Marte. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Oh, man, what a perfect pitch right there in a perfect spot. And that's exactly how you have to attack a guy like this. He wasn't even close on that pitch. Hit hard to short. Reined in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. Five innings complete. It's now 10 zip. Your Matt Carpenter is going to go ahead and this stay in the ball game the and play third league. now. Now playing third base, number 13. A.J. Pollock Matt will stay in the ball Carpenter. game as he takes now over in center. center. Field, number 11, A.J. Pollock. Yasiel Puig right will stick around as he'll take Yassiel over in right field. Puig. Jose Altuve will stand in to start things off as this top of the batting order hasn't found a whole lot of success so far. In fact, okay. just one hit between the one, two, three hitters combined. So apparently the table setters have not been getting their chores done. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, ball one, one and oh. Since we have a bit of a blowout on our hands, Steve, your thoughts on the home run sculpture out there in left center field? Huh. Uh, colorful? Kershaw is ready. Here it is on one and oh. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Well, here's a little trivia for you, Matt. On May 1st of 2012, Jose Altuve faced Mets pitcher John Roush, who's 6 feet 11 inches tall. The foot and a half height differential is said to be the most in MLB history between a pitcher and batter. Oh, but look here. The manager's up and out of the dugout, so it appears he might opt to challenge that last safe call at first. Well, here's another look at it now. I couldn't really tell when we saw it live, and I'll tell you what, it's still tough to tell from that angle. We're going to have to see what the dugout decides. And it looks like a no from the bench. So they will not challenge the play. And the call will stand with the runner safe at first base. Here's Carlos Correa now. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. No runs, five hits. No errors thus far for the American League. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Another one sent foul. One and two. Here it comes. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Fastball called. Strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. Uh, and you can see he is none too happy about that last call. I think he's saying it was low, and, oh, well, 
Now I know he was saying it was low. But you know, you can't show up an umpire like that. He may have just cost his guys another inch or two on close calls. Standing in now, Corey Dickerson, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Oh, and that's a good fastball right there. He might have been thinking about protecting against that sinker. Fly ball heading for the alley. Back goes Puig, still ranging back. But he can't get there. This splits the outfielders and heads toward the wall. And the run will score all the way from first. Well, he gives this ball a pretty good ride. No shot to get this one as it's going to wind up getting on the track and one hop in the wall out there. He's going to wind up pulling into second with an RBI double. Eric Hosmer ready to take another shot. Went down on strikes his last time up. Now he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Well, any time you get an RBI guy to the plate with less than two outs, and he does that, he is not happy. That's the kind of at-bat that'll stick with you for a while. Todd Frazier stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. Now the 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Two out here, and a runner at second. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Ready with the 0-2. Frozen on the fastball. Never had a chance, and the inning is over. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's the National League 10 and the American League 1. Doug Fister will come on now to try and sort this mess out as he'll likely be asked to go at least a few innings here. Settling in now, Jose Reyes as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Fastball to start him off, but that misses for ball one. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2-0. and oh. And after that double in his first at-bat, you can tell they're approaching him with a bit more caution here. Well, they should. High in the air out to center field. Ellsbury's after it. One away. Yeah, a dangerous pitch right there. 2-0 and to a middle-of-the-order guy. And he gets away with it and gets him to lift an easy fly ball. Paul Goldschmidt stands in following an RBI single his first time through. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. and oh. Hit hard up the middle and that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Well, another good at bat right here. He's sacrificing those power stats for a little on base percentage, and he's two for two with two singles. Nothing wrong with that. 
Corey Seager. Ready for another at bat now. He's two for three so far. Yeah, and you can bet he'd love to get himself that third hit. Those are the kind of games that puts a little extra pep in your step. He's set. Here it comes. Turned on down the line. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Chop foul right at home plate. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he looks at a sinker for a called third strike and now there are two gone. All three pitches down in the zone here. And when you're facing a sinker baller, you've got to expect that's where they're going to be. And he was probably fortunate that he didn't hit that one or he might have bounced into a double play. Matt Carpenter will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Oh one, here's the pitch. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Got to like the approach right here. He's basically saying, if you're going to beat me, you're going to have to take it to left field because I don't think he's going to give this guy anything he can pull. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Oh, and he turns another one around here. And his fine ball game will continue. Give him another home run. So a two-run shot to left center, his second of the game, as they just continue to pour it on here. Boy, that guy on the mound right now is absolutely livid. He knows that he threw way too hittable of a pitch in the situation when he's ahead in the count like that. He should be mad at himself. Stepping in now, A.J. Pollock. Drilled on the ground is short. Correa has it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So it's two runs here on two hits with one of them being the home run. Seventh inning coming up. National Leaguers out in front, 12 to 1. Welcome back to South Florida. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Trevor Rosenthal. Will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. Trevor Rosenthal. Stephen Sung will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Stephen Sung. Ball in there for a called strike. Yeah. 
gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. You want to talk about a live arm? This guy's got one all right. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Rosenthal has his sign. Here it is on 0-2. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Yeah, and on this pitch right here, you got to make up your mind just a little more quickly up there. This is a ball that you got to think about maybe taking the left field, but instead, his swing is just a little bit late. He pulls off a little bit, and now he's going to go sit down. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. As this is popped foul behind the plate, it's strike one. The windup and the 0 1. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. Belted high in the air out to left. Looking up is Marte. Gone! A solo shot here to left, but that'll do little more than make a dent in this big deficit. Well, this at least is a way to make some kind of positive out of what's been a really difficult evening so far. I don't think this will make much of a difference in the final result, but at least it shows you that they're out there playing hard and not laying down. Now at the plate, Jacoby Ellsbury. He singled his last Center time up. Fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. This is what you call an ambush swing right here. You're hitting in the back of the order. You're looking dead red early in the count. Kind of just hoping the pitcher might relax and forget about you for a minute. Then you get that fastball middle in, and you jump all over it. Steven Vogt will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. Steven Vogt. Now a ball hit high in the air and deep down the line in left. And gone right down the line the other way. Wow! So a two-run homer down the line in left as it's now down to an eight-run ball game. This is going to be a fastball here, and it's on the outside third of the plate. But look at him just reach those arms out, stay back, and drive this thing the other way. Now, this didn't stay fair by much. But if you can keep them fair right down the foul Attention, lines, please. you don't have to hit them 400 feet. Hitting. Jonathan Scope Jonathan will come on as a pinch hitter. Chopped at the plate, but that one rolls foul. Three runs already home here. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. And, and if you're going to go after that pitch, you've got to be thinking right field. I think he just pulled off of that one a little. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Turning for second now is Scope. And he'll round it and try for third. And he'll get in there safely. He does a nice job here going right with the pitch. You can see it's on the outside part of the plate, and he just squares it up perfectly and drives it right through the empty gap. 
And since they were playing to pull, they've got a long way to go to run this ball down. So that allows them to easily make it up to third base. Hanley Ramirez will grab a bat and pinch hit now, and he'll be looking for at least a fly ball as he's got a runner at third and only one away. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's one and zero. Would you say he's not really finishing his pitches at this point? That's a good way to put it. It looks like he's aiming a little too much, and that's not working for him. Chop foul right at home plate. It's strike one. Couldn't lay off that time, and it's one and two. And this is what he needs out there right now. He has to find some confidence in those secondary pitches. And that's a good change up there. To short. Seeger is there. Throw to first is in time. But meanwhile, the runner is in to score. And this play is the very definition of trading a run for an out. It's been an ugly inning so far, so I'm pretty sure they'll take anything they can get at this point. Lorenzo Kane will come on now as the pinch hitter. Number six, Lorenzo Kane. Fastballs in there for strike one. Now he might have been on the on deck circle just saying, man, I get one at bat and it's against this guy? Thanks a lot. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. And you kind of wonder if he's learned anything out there. There's another pitch right down the middle. And I think he's lucky that that one didn't get hit a long way. Four runs here in this half inning. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw on to first will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. So four runs in the inning and they come on the strength of the two big flies. Time to get up and stretch here in Miami. The NL leads this one 12 to 5. Stephen Vogt please. will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. League. Now playing left field, number 20. Jonathan Scope Stephen will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play second, second here. Number six, Jonathan Scope. Hanley now Ramirez will stay 13, in the ball game as a new shortstop. Ramirez. Lorenzo right Kane field, will stick six, around as he'll Lorenzo take over in right field. Kane. Craig Kimbrell will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Craig Kimbrell. DJ LeMayhew gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. DJ LeMayhew. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Inside, 2-0. Oh. I'll give him this. He's not intimidated up there. Well, that was inside. Close to triple digits. He didn't even flinch. Two and zero oh count. Here it comes. Too tight with that one. Three and zero. Oh. He's having a little trouble finding the strike zone here to start off the inning. And it's a long road back from 3-0. and oh. 
ready with the 3 and 0. Oh. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Well, it seems to me like you've at least got to make him go after something there. I mean, the bat never left his shoulder. And that's making it way too easy for a guy leading off the inning. Jonathan Lucroy will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. and A runner at first with no outs here. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first out. Well, <laughs> He's not going to like the fact that he broke his bat. That's the one that's got all the hits in it. Yasiel Puig walks into the box, reached base with a double his first time up. And with a man on first, it'll take at least another double to bring him in. First delivery to him on the way. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. And Ellsbury will put this one away for route number two. And with all the runs that have scored tonight, you'd think that ball would have had some carry to it. I don't think he got that one flushed. Starling Marte will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. Which is a fastball right there for strike one. Two out with the man at first. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. One and one count. Here's the pitch. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Late making contact on that swing and will do it again on one and two. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. NL leaves one as the lead holds at 12 to 5. Brian Woodward is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Brian Woodward. In there for strike one. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. Take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. A look there at our all-star line score. The National League leading this one in the eighth over their American League rivals in a game that's certainly been an entertaining one to this point. Kyle Seeger will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gun in the inning. Kyle Seeger.
just off the outside and it's one and oh. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Yeah, and it's tough enough to hit 95-plus mile-an-hour fastballs. That curve gives you something else to think about altogether. Rosenthal's ready. 1-1 one, one on its way. Swung on and missed. 1-2 and two now. Yeah, 97 will get up on you in a hurry, especially when it's your first A-B of the night and you're just settling in. Wing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, you know, Eric and I like to talk a lot about pitchers keeping hitters off balance at the plate. And this is an excellent illustration of what we're talking about. Now, we didn't like to be off balance at the plate, but this is what you get. He goes fast, then slow, fast, then slow. They never give him the same pitch or the same speed twice in a row. And that's how you keep a guy's timing all messed up. Steven Sung will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Here comes the first pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Uh, I like how he's approaching things here. He's got a good, safe lead, so he's not setting guys up or wasting a lot of pitches. He's coming right after everybody. A one pitch on its way. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. He wanted to go after that one, but that's a good eye to just watch it all the way in. Here it comes on one and one. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. Good curveball right there, and that just really froze him. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back to South Florida following this. Kyle Seeger is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Now playing third base, number 15. Sean Doolittle will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Sean Doolittle. Jose Reyes will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. First pitch curveball runs in a bit too tight. It's ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. But this is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92, 93. Here's the one and one delivery. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. On deck, the powerful right-handed bat of Paul Goldschmidt.
ready to deliver the full count pitch. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. Wow, just a great at-bat right there. Simple as that. Patient, laid off some tough pitches. He was rewarded. Paul Goldschmidt steps in. He scored after reaching on a single his last time up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Well, not really how you want to start the next guy after a walk. That pitch isn't even close. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. No problem here, one away. Maybe a pitch here that he's trying to do a little too much with. He just can't get on top of it and winds up an easy pop out. Striding in, Corey Seager. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Well, you know, it never feels good to go down on strikes, especially looking. It wouldn't be surprised to see him be a little more aggressive in this at bat. Now a swing and a fly ball. Vote on the move. And they can't run it down. Runner at first here, one man out. Hey. Oh, and two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. Line drive to left, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second He's out. Up. On to first, a double play. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Ninth inning coming up. The NL leads it 12 to 5. Always a party in Miami Beach, not too far from us here at Marlins Park, set to begin the ninth inning in this one. Salvador Perez will stand in now to begin their half of the ninth in a game that was decided long, long ago. Yeah, this is mop-up time out there right now, but hey, these at-bats still count against your batting average, so you can't go up there and just mail it in. You've got to see this through right to the end of the game. Kenley Jansen will come on here. Not a safe situation, but he'll try to close it out nonetheless. Kenley Jansen. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Swung on and chopped up the middle. Seeger ranging up the middle. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Yeah, kind of a high chopper. This is a tough play for a shortstop on the move. Winds up beating it out. Digging in and looking for more. Jacoby Ellsbury. He's looking to go four for four with a base hit right here. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here, 0-1. Oh, Jansen's ready, coming at him with the 0-1. Oh, now a chopper to second. This will be a tough turn. LeMayhew's got it, and the throw to first is in time, one gone. And here, late in the game, you've got a lead, so no sense in trying to force a throw into second base there. Just take the out at first and move on. Mike Trout will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. 
Mike Trout. First pitch is a cutter looked at 0 and 1. He's going to get a visit from his catcher here because even though he got away with that last pitch, it was right down the middle of the plate, <laughs> nowhere near the target. And this is not the guy you want to start missing your location with. One out and a runner on second base. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. Now a ball crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there, and that one is long gone. A two run shot that time for Mike Trout as they try to claw back. It's a five run deficit. And this is just a fastball right here, but I'm pretty sure it's not where he wanted it. This has got some elevation to it. And that's one of those where you know it's going to be a home run as soon as you let go. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for the American Leaguers, number 20, Eddie Rosario. Cut fastball in there for a cold strike. And this should be a pretty good test of his resiliency out there. He's going to need to snap back in a hurry because he's got a lot more danger ahead. Good cutter there, and he's got him behind the eight ball now, 0-2. And if you get him to look at strike one, why not go back to that same pitch in the same part of the strike zone and they catch him looking again? Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. One out, nobody on. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's 1-2. and two. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it two and two. That's a good location for that cutter with two strikes. He's either got to take that and hope it's a ball or he's got to foul that thing off. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Well, this is how you got to do it in this league. If the you give up a two-run home run, you got to just move on quickly. And he's still upset about it, don't get me wrong, but it's when you dwell on it that you get yourself into more trouble. Your Xander Bogarts will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Number two, Xander Bogarts. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Yeah, the velocity's good here, but I'm not so sure about the location. That was right down the middle. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Ready with the 1-1 one, one pitch. And he misses 2-1. and one. Oh, 
Here's a swing and a miss, and now the American League's down to its final strike. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And he will reach down to make the catch on the run. And what a fine way to end it there as this ball game is over. Well, I think this one was pretty much over before it started. That huge first inning rally put this one out of reach right from the get-go. And in an all-star game atmosphere like this, it can sometimes be hard to single out one player for an MVP award, but the writers here have spoken as you get a look at our all-star game most valuable player presented by Topps. And I don't know if this was a unanimous selection or not. There's probably some writer out there who disagrees, but he's a worthy all-star game MVP in my book. And I think all three of us put his name down at the top of our ballots. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The National League comes out on top 12-7. Good night from Miami.